Hello music community, it's time for a quick and dirty video and this is a new series which I've made attempts at before, now playing. <laughs> Alright, first in the car, and th this is literally in the car right now. Um, a very strange pickup, totally blind purchase. Um, Galyu Miyavi? Miyavi? Mi Mi yeah, Miyavi. Um, an import, obviously. Um, best described as experimental metal, but it's totally up my alley. Oh my goodness, it's very, very unusual. And from one song to the next, no idea what to expect. This, I recently finished. Um, Brendan James, Earthbound. Ambient and Soundscape Works, Volume 4. Brendan, this is so good. So good. Uh, Brendan is in... Uh, he's a, a member of the vinyl community, and he, he obviously does music. Uh, he's in Australia. So good. It's actually pretty dark. It's, I would describe it as dark ambient, actually. Um, very, very good. Please, do him a favor and, and check out brendanjames.bandcamp.com Check this album out. Very good. I, I will be buying more of your stuff. <clears throat> uh, this one, um, sort of prog. Um, parts of it reminded me a little bit of Kansas. And then there's some parts that were leaning towards um, uh, prog metal. So very, very good listen. Very good listen. Um, Explorers Club Raising the Mammoth. Yeah. <laughs> this was a fun listen. <laughs> Spastic Blur. It's like a perfect blend of punk and metal. Um, and even elements of extreme metal. So, uh, yeah. Such a, a fun album. A lot of studio banter and, and, you know, talking over the song, that sort of thing. Definitely check it out if you're into, you know, those two genres. There's a good blend of those two genres. Spastic Blur, self-titled. <clears throat> now we're going in a different direction as, as I uh, switch to vinyl. Um, we're going in a different direction musically. <sighs> With the soundtrack to The Young and the Restless. Yes. Um... I I think as a kid I I saw probably bits and pieces of it. Um, I remember, uh, you know, we'd be at my dad's girlfriend's house and and they would have this on the TV and you know we'd happen to be in the room and catch bits of it and that sort of thing. Um, I've since become a fan of Days of Our Lives uh, because that's what my wife watches, so we watch that together. But anyway. It's about what you you would expect from a, a soap opera soundtrack. <laughs> Going back in a more manly direction, <laughs> we have Helmet. Um, and in the original video where I showed this, uh, I called it Strap On, but it's actually Strap It On. Um, very, very good. This was their debut album. Um, and already they, they had their distinctive style they have that it's very spastic and um stuttery that that's kind of how i describe their their sort of music um the rhythms and whatnot um very very good D definitely check it out um i'm not not sure how i would compare it to what is it meantime or in the meantime i think meantime um i think i like that one better but already on this one their debut they were fantastic this was an excellent listen i was rocking out to this this is mick jagger she's the boss um very very good and here i give a, a bit of a shout out to um doug at fat city vinyl um this is the inner sleeve to it and the reason is because um you recently talked about sly and robbie and they appear on four of the songs. Sly on the drums and Robbie on the bass. Um, yeah. 
Very cool. And there's a bunch of other uh, guest stars on this album. It's pretty crazy. And we have, just on the first song alone, we have Jeff Beck, T Pete Townsend, um, Herbie Hancock, Bill Laswell. Oh, man. And those are just the ones I recognize off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, man. Very good. Oh, this one. Complete blind buy bought strictly based on this picture. Um, I love um, drummer-based jazz, where the drummer is considered the lead. The uh, one that that uh, comes to mind, well, not even necessarily jazz, but even rock. Um, one that comes to mind is uh, um, Sandy Nelson. I think I have that right now. I, so my mind just went blank, but Sandy Nelson, um, he he did some, you know, percussive based um, rock and roll, and here we're leaning more towards jazz, obviously. But this is my son, the jazz drummer Shelly Mann, and I got it home, and noticed modern jazz versions of favorite Jewish and Israeli songs, and I did recognize a few of the songs. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not Jewish or Israeli, but they have some good music. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so good. If you ever see this, pick it up. Such a good listen. Oh, man. Very good. Speaking of very good, uh, this is Placebo's debut. Again, I'm shocked that they're, they're not talked about more in the vinyl community. Um so good. I, I had to pick up one of their albums on vinyl just because um, out of the bands my wife likes, and I think I mentioned this before, they're they're probably my favorite. Other than the ones that we share in common, you know, like Radiohead. <laughs> my second favorite band in the world. But this is Placebo. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very good album. Very good debut. <clears throat> sort of uh, Britpop, uh, indie pop indie rock that type thing now I was thrilled to add this one to my collection Dizzy Gillespie Cornucopia but I must say I was a little a little disappointed a little disappointed um, quite frankly it leans a little towards a little towards uh, smooth jazz and as far as Dizzy Gillespie goes, he's my second fa favorite trumpet player. And as far as he goes, you know, I, I love his old stuff, you know, like the, yeah, the classic jazz, you know. So this is getting, I, I'm pretty sure this is like 70s. Um, I don't see the copyright off the top of my head, but uh, that didn't make sense. But anyway... <laughs> This album would have done a lot more for me if if it had been more funky. I, it could have used some funky elements or more funky elements. There, I think there may have been a few funky elements, but um, it, it really lacks oomph. So I'm thrilled to have it in my collection because I think this might be my only Dizzy Gillespie. And again, he's my second favorite trumpet player. So, um, But again, a little disappointed. <clears throat> this, however, I just finished listening to this, was not disappointed. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's totally different. It's uh, The Ventures, New Testament, and I'll just quickly read on the back here because I want to keep this a quick and dirty video. It says, New Testament isn't the gospel put to music. It's a new trip for The Ventures. Not a religion trip, but a new musical concept from the group that has been around since the birth of rock. For the first time, you'll hear vocals by The Ventures, and you'll hear six original tunes that show a different side from the traditional hits packages. New Musical Concepts, that's the name of the game. For The Ventures, it's a tradition. Uh, there, yeah, like it says, there's six original songs, but then there's also songs by like Tito Puente, Cat Stevens, um, uh, Led Zeppelin, George Harrison, uh, Paul Anka. <clears throat> yeah very very good anyway 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.